thought I'd try installing um, CM10 onto my Pantech Burst. It was running Gizmo Lords custom ROM version 4 on it, but now I thought I'd try a real jelly bean on it. So, first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to download the custom ROM update file for CM10. Just Google it you'll find it. If you need help finding the ROM I can private message you the link. And then also if you want Google Apps you'll have to download the G Apps zip file. I forgot where I downloaded this stuff. I think I downloaded it off of uh, I've downloaded off of xdadevelopers.com. But anyways, the first step is to copy those files over into your phone. So first, plug it in. Give me a second. I can't do two things at once, so I'm just gonna. So plug in your phone. Unlock it slide down I'm going to make sure USB connected is set turned on so I can copy the files okay so I used uh, uh, crack UC's tutorial to before you can even do install CM10 you'll need to do a few things before it You'll first need to root your phone, if I root my phone. And then you'll need to uh, make sure you install Clockwork Mod. This one's running version 6, so I can actually uh, copy this stuff onto my inter internal SD card. And lastly, what was the last thing? No, there's a few other things. You need to run, uh, unlock the bootloader install this custom ROM. Um, these three things, uh, rooting, clockwork mod, and unlocking the bootloader, you can all find on the Gizmo Lord forum um, and crack UC. The user wrote some really good tutorials on that. So, But okay, so turn on USB connection and opens this up so I'm gonna copy it to my internal SD card let's see actually this isn't my internal SD card because I think uh, let me give me a second Okay, so this is the root drive of my internal SD for the Pantech Burst. I'm going to be copying these two, these two files, the update files. One is the CM10 update file, and then the other one is the GApps file. So I'm just going to select those two, copy. And then paste into the root directory of my internal SD card. You could probably do it through your external SD if you have Clockwork Mod 5, but I'm running Clockwork Mod Recovery 6, so. I can do it through my internal SD card. That's the 12 gigabyte drive on your Pantech Burst. Just waiting for it to copy over. Once it copies over, we can boot into Clockwork Recovery by pressing the power and volume down button, I believe. 
So I've never done this before, so hopefully it works out okay. Again, do this at your own risk. I'm not too worried about messing up because I have a, I've downgraded my phone down to gingerbread before, so I'm pretty sure as long as I can get into software upgrading mode, I can fix this phone if I mess up. Okie dokie. Now that it's done copying to the root folder, I'm going to unhook my phone. Oh, I should have. What's it called? Did the whole turn off the USB, so you should do that too. Don't be lazy like me. And so now I'll shut off my phone. Okie dokie. Now remember to get into a clockwork mod, you press the volume down button and hold power. So holding down now, pressing power. Wait, wait, holding wait. And now it's in clockwork recovery mode. Okay now. So it says the first thing we need to do is clear and wipe data factory set. So use the volume up and down keys to move around. So here I will choose wipe data factory set and power button is to select and a bunch of no's to make sure you're not doing the wrong thing. So move to yes. There it says yes. Do that. It's a little Android thing. It says formatting. And then at the very end, data wipe complete. Next thing is to clear Dalvik cache. And usually that's under advanced. Wipe Dalvik cache. Dalvik cache and then the very bottom says Dalvik cache wiped okie dokie and so now I go back so let's scroll down it's probably easier if I just went up but okay it says go back go back install from zip from SD card So install zip from SD card is the next thing I need to do. Select that. And I want to choose, let me move that up, choose zip from SD card. Select that. And if I scroll, can I scroll up? Yeah, scroll up. What I want is CM10 unofficial presto zip. It's this one. I need to run that. So go ahead and run. It says, yeah, sure, why not install? 
so first thing is installing the CM10 ROM and then update and after that I need to install G apps if I want Google apps. Obviously I use Google apps so I'm gonna install that once this is finished. Mm. So it's that easy I think but we'll see. Okay so I still need to install G apps. So choose zip from SD card. It's that first option. I uh, go up because it's a root directory. It's easier if I go up versus down. And then you see how it says G apps sign for Jelly Bean. Install that. Again, it gives me a verification screen. Do I want to install? I click yes. Press power button to select. It's copying files. This should be pretty quick since it's much smaller. The CM10 update is around like 150 megabytes or more, whereas the G apps update is just 80 megabytes. And now it's complete. Moment of truth. Once it says complete, I can go ahead and go back and then reboot my machine, I believe. Reboot system now, first option. So here I go. And let's see if it boots up. Mm. So it'll take a while since it's the first boot. Um, oh, there's Cyanogen Mint mod. Um, hopefully I was clear enough in this video. I'm pretty tired. Should have taken my time, but I'm limited on time now that I work. Again, remember, do this at your own risk. This isn't exactly, this, it's not too difficult, but there's always a chance of messing up. So, to outline the whole process, first you need to root your phone. After you've rooted your Pantech Burst, you can go ahead and install clockwork mod because that's what you're going to use to install these custom ROMs after you well it's, it's installed after you've installed clockwork mod you'll need to unlock your bootloader so you can install custom ROMs once it's unlocked you can copy your custom ROM Maybe CM10 or Gizmo Lord, and then if you're gonna do Clockwork Mod, just remember to also copy over G Apps update file. That way you can install Google Apps, because usually the CM10 CM10 and Custom ROM doesn't include a what's it called the Google Apps. Okay, so now we can start and go into here let me see if I can readjust so it's so I'm here in the United States I'll click start uh, I do have a gmail yes please forgive me while I put in my gmail information
once you put in your you know, username and password, it'll ask you about Google Play. I'd rather not keep up to date. I'm a pretty manual person. Click OK. Signing in may take a few minutes. So, once that's done, I do not want to set up a credit card. This is about the restore account information. Usually, I just say no to all this. I just click next. And then Wi-Fi. Sure, why not let them do that? This is all about GPS information. Setup is complete, and I'm now done, and I'm finally in CM10. So, uh, there I am inside my phone. The very first thing that is a concern for me is all this weird stuff but I think I need to enter in my Wi-Fi information the good thing is after updating this from Gizmo Lords ROM my uh, carrier, carrier unlock is still there because I was using a T-Mobile SIM and it didn't ask me for an uh, unlock code. So that's good. Usually you shouldn't have to. So I'm going to go ahead and give the CM10 a, a whirl, see how good it is.